Hello and welcome to Andrew's Tabletop Gaming. Today we are having the battle of the holiday sets. Hidden Fates versus Champion's Path. Um, going to crack these open and uh, take a look at what's inside. Um, and then we're going to crack the packs and see who wins. Um, so I have, it's a little bit unfair because we've got 10 Champion's Path. But I think Hidden Fakes makes up for it because of the uh, the shiny set. So, Raichu Tin, Charizard Tin versus the two special pin collection boxes. Um, so let's get into opening these up. So, Charizard box. Promo Charizard and four packets of Hidden Fates. Promo Raichu and four more packs. Oh, that's right over there. So, let's stick them over there. Stick them back on there. And now we have the Champions Path boxes. Which might be more difficult to get into. We have the Alt Art. Colossal and the Alt Art Lapras, which is the uh, two Pokemon that these gym leaders use. I will leave them in there for now. We have five packs of Champions Path in here. And we have the lovely code and the two pins. Very nice. Go towards completing my set when the uh, next lot come out. And we'll open the B and Alistair box for Stow on side. Art to the Machamp and a Gengar. Five more packs. Card card. And the badges. Really, really, these are probably my favourite too, to be honest. Beast Call, the Fighting Gym, and that spooky, sort of uh, ghost-like um, pin is really, really nice. So, let's get rid of the box. Let's put the pins up here. Because, you know, if we're looking product for product, I think the Champion's Path product already has heads down. So, Hidden Fates versus Champion's Path. So, we will start with Hidden Fates. So, when we get some first pack magic. There's a code card for you all. Call from the back. And we have a Darkness Energy, Misty's Determination, a Metapod, a Charmeleon, a Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, 
Hey, very nice. A reverse energy, which obviously is in both sets. Not really sure which one I prefer. And we have Mew. Obviously, the, all the code cards are white, I believe, in this set, like Champion's Path. So, let's put the commons and uncommons over there, and let's get into Champion's Path. So, code card. We have got uh, Water Energy, Lipard, Sharpedo, Hyper Potion, Swablu, Inke, Hatena, Kakuna, Rockruff, a Reverse Zigzagoon, and a Mani Holographic. So, obviously, slight advantage for Champion's Path having a hollow in every pack which is not guaranteed for uh, hidden fates so code card forward to the front we have uh, lightning energy Brox pewter city gym metapod giovanni's exile voltorb geodude sorry eevee not quite on the screen there clefairy Caterpie, a reverse Misty's Water Command, and a full art Giovanni's Exile. Very, very nice. I was going to buy this on eBay only yesterday, and I'm sort of glad I didn't know. It's because I just bought it. Very, very, very nice. So, Hidden Fates takes an early lead. Just looking at that, I think. Is this sort of bobbling? I'm not sure if it's supposed to look like that. That's very strange. I'll have to look at that some other time. Don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. Yeah, let's take this over there. So let's open a couple of champions paths so, because we uh, we need to catch up because we've got a couple of extra packs. I can get them out. So there's your code card. to the front and we start with a water energy team yell grunt bd sharpedo vulpix linoon have full heal again i'm uh, opening them for myself and not for you perline kakuna a reverse bd and another money oh my goodness not that i don't you know i like a money i need them for my for my decks but I don't need all that many more. So, Champion's Path again. And I think that's the problem with this set is that you just, there's just, too, you know, there's not enough of those holographics to actually, you know, 80 card set. You're pulling the same ones over and over again. So, Darkness Energy, Hyper Potion, Malamar, Machoke, Nicket, Trubbish, Hatena. Rockruff, a potion, a reverse Absol, which is very nice, and a Hatterene. So even after one extra pack, Champion's Path is still nowhere in the head. The Hidden Fates. So, So the third pack of Hidden Fates, we have Grass Energy, Brock's Grit, Cobra's Trap, Misty Cerulean City Gym, Psyduck, Magikarp, that was very watery, Staryu, oh my goodness, Slowpoke, ah, well, Voltorb, spoils the party, a Reverse Electrode, which is very nice because that's a rare, and a Charizard GX. So uh, I've actually got some sleeves somewhere, there we go. So let's put these hits. I oh know that Charizard GX is not worth that much, but it's another hit. And the Electrode is a rare as well. So yeah, going further in front. So we'll open another couple of 
champion's path, and then we should be all square. So a co-card. So obviously, either of these, if you pull the big card, one of the Charizards out of these, then it's basically an auto win. It doesn't matter what else you've really pulled. So we have Heteran, Malamar, Teamiel Grunt, a Pokeball, Galarian Loon, Hatena, Swablu, Scraggy, <laughs> a reverse Marnie, because we need some more, and a Scrafty. So Marnie technically is a rare. So, you know, it's a hit, I guess. So another Champion's Path. There's code. Flick to the mic. And Sharpedo, Hyper Potion, Volpix, Inkay, a Pokeball, Sizzlepeed, Galarian Zigzagoon, a Reverse Machop, and another Hatterene. So, pretty much nothing so far out of the Champion's Path packets. So let's go back to Hidden Plates, see if it can extend its lead. So four, and we start with a Water Energy, Grabbler, Farfetch'd, Misty City Gym, Pikachu, Ekans, Coughing, Paras, Cubone, oh, a shiny Garchomp, which is very nice, and a non hollow Lapras. So, shiny Garchomp can get his own sleeve. Very nice. So, goes further into the lead. Right, Champion's Path is going to have to hit a couple of very big hits to even get in the picture. So there's a the code. So, we have a Lightning Energy. Kaboo! Suspicious Food Tim. Victini. Vulpix, Glaring Lenoon, a full heel, Perloin, Kakuna. <laughs> Marnie uh, is trolling me now. So a reverse Marnie and a Galarian Obstagoon. So again, nothing really to write home about. I might need one of those Galarian Obstagoons for a playset, but that's about it. So. This is looking like an absolutely one-sided trouncing at the moment. And it can only get worse, I'm thinking. Oh, no, it's taking over there. So, what have we got in here? So, Grass Energy, Chansey, Misty's Gym, Sabrina's Suggestion, Caterpie, Ekans, Paras, a Charmander, Slowpoke, Reverse Charmander, very nice. I do love me a Charmander. And Erica's Hospitality, so no real hit in that one. Reverse Charmander, you can get a sleeve because I love Charmander. There we go. And back to Chinese Path. So. Still has a chance to redeem itself. At the moment it's just looking like a um, Charizard or bust, but we will see. The water, Team Yell Grunt, Rotom Phone, Milo, Scraggy, Roly Coley, Nicket, Ekans, Caravana, a reverse Rotom bike. Hey, there we go. And a full art hop. Another card I nearly bought on eBay, but the prices were just a little bit too steep for my pocket. And I do need it, so it's a good hit. 
put the logs on like there. So the comeback is on. Co card. Fighting energy. Brock's grit. Oh, I got fighting pack. Graveler. Far fetched. Pikachu. Jigglypuff. Ekans. Coughing. Cubone. Hey, here we have a shiny Zerka tree, which again is a very, very nice. And a Butterfree. So. That's the thing about these packs, you get really two chances to hit something in the Hidden Fates packs, so they do have quite a bit of an advantage. Um, but, so, back to Champion's Path. There's your code card. Or from the back, and a fighting engine, Beedrill, Great Ball, Sonya, Zigzagoon, Rockruff, Full Heal, Scraggy, Ekans, a reverse Inkay, and a Whale Lord V. So, uh, a Whale Lord V, I actually need Whale Lord V. I would like a place at the Whale Lord V because he looks um, nuts, to be honest. So, two hits in a row. NK can stay there. And two packs each left. Um, Hidden Fates still in front by quite a distance, I would say. So, the two shinies the Garchomp and the Zerka Tree. Fairy Energy. Rest in peace, Fairy Pokemon. Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Cubone, Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy, a shiny Bayonetta GX. Wow, that is gorgeous. What a lovely card. And a shiny hollow zapdos as well so two hits which is something you're never going to get out of a champion's path box i'm afraid um so let's get this in a sleeve let's get zapdos in a sleeve and let's take a quick look at this again yowzers beautiful beautiful artwork and just the centering is absolutely miles off so you're not going to get your psa 10 top to bottom and well basically all four sides are nowhere near straight it is off completely and you've got similar on the back but it doesn't it's not as pronounced because you don't have the lines so yeah, boom, another hit for Hidden Fates. This is looking like a bit of a walkover. So I think we're gonna need a couple of full arts or a secret rare in this to really pull it back on. Let's get rid of these. We don't need these on here. So fighting energy, Piers. Malamar, Sharpedo, Zigzagoon, Weedle, Perlion, Pokeball, Inkay, a reverse Glaring Zigzagoon, and a Zygarde. So nothing in there, it's no, it was a reverse. There we go. So I think it's Charizard or Bust for uh, Champion's Path. So we'll open our last pack. Of Hidden Fates, see what they have to beat. There's a decided mark on the back of that one, so let's hope it's nothing particularly great. So we have Dark Energy, a Charmeleon, a Magma, Scyther, 
Clefairy, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, a Voltorb, a Reverse Psyduck, and a Blaine's Last Stand. So nothing spectacular out of the last one. Well, as you can see, I've only actually got five official reverses. The rest of them have been shinies. Um, so, yeah. Bit crazy. And people were saying that the pulls weren't as good in this reprint because these are these are reprintings. I got them at a very very good price. And so, if this is a Charizard, uh, Champs Path wins. If it's not, they don't. <laughs> Rotom Phone, Milo, a Rockruff, Potion. By the way, give the uh, bell subscribe click thumbs up all of those lovely things nick it reverse and an L creamy v which again i also need but if we're gonna compare hits for hits we are gonna be lacking slightly on one side of the board so let's have a look at the hits Let's put the rares down there. Let's even put Zapdos down there. I know the Charizard's not worth that much, but it's still a hit. So we have five hits to the three. Again, one, two, three of those are in the reverse slot, which you can't get with Champion's Path. So it was never really a fair, you know, I'd have had to hit a couple of really big hitters in these 10 packets to uh, give them a chance um, but thanks for watching and tune in next time for more um, champions path openings and probably some sword and shield as well and hoping to get hold of some japanese sets as well so once again we'll see you next time